On this episode of Salt and Siren, we're finally getting you caught up. That's right, you're going to finally be in the same city that we are, which is in Alabama. But we're going to show you how we part-time live aboard, and this is what happened over the winter and into the spring. So for those of you who can't be full-times, this is how we do it. Not a lot of boat stuff, but a lot of in-between and a lot of travel. So nonetheless, we're glad you're here. Welcome. So we left you in Columbus, Mississippi, where the boat would winter for the season, headed home and prepped for things like the holidays and actually moving again. Yeah, we had to move our life again. That means our motorcycle, which we had to take from our one car garage out to Todd's brother's house, who has obviously the facilities to house such a beast. And we downsized from 980 square feet in a one car garage, again down to 760 square feet and no garage. So some of the other things that happened over the winter is Todd took back to some of his artwork. He's very good. And sometimes I got to be the canvas, which is, you know, what you do when you're bored. <laughs> We went to a concert, so we pretty much sat in the dark for the rest of the winter. Uh, held on as long as we could until we could actually get back to the boat. And even that was delayed because there was a big storm that went through Mississippi and all we could do was watch from a distance to make sure the boat was in good shape. Luckily, the guys in Columbus were awesome and kept us up to speed. So some of you, if you've been here for a while, may have remembered that back in Grafton, uh, we sniffed out a fuel line leak in one of our engines, in our port engine, and we still had to fix that. So we, it took us a long time actually to find the right connection points uh, in order to fix that, but we finally did and got our port engine back online. It was nice to visit the boat, even if it was for just one day. Uh, it is 10 hours away from us to Columbus, and Pippi liked it. She got to bird watch. So at the beginning of the year, we decided that we were going to move again, which is funny because most of our friends are, usually, are pretty much moving up. They're getting bigger homes right now, and we're getting smaller. And that's just because at some point we're going to live on a damn boat one day. <laughs> so we might as well get used to it. And this apartment is really not that much bigger than the boat footprint. We have plenty of space, we walk everywhere still, we have an off-site parking and off-site storage, and it's really, it's really been easy, and we love our decision of getting smaller, keeping our priorities in check, and hey, I mean, look at the view. We're pretty happy with it. <laughs> so while Todd had to work, I ended up traveling back and forth to Florida a few times to see my son. I even surprised him once which was really fun which is around his birthday and you know I really love getting to know the Destin, Santa Rosa Beach, Alice Beach 30A area. It's a beautiful spot. I think that we're going to be really really happy in this area. There's plenty of resources. The water is fantastic and we just have really gotten to know the area thanks to my son and his dad living in this area. So I think it's going to be an excellent place for us and I just love to sightsee while I'm down there so I can get a better lay of the land. If you've been with us for a while, you know that this is the boat that we almost bought. It's still sitting there and I always go and visit it. Kind of feel bad for it actually. If you've never been to the Santa Rosa Beach area, I'm going to just let you take in the sights now. Being a long distance mom can be really tough, so I never take any of these little moments for granted. I love hanging out with Evan, he is the best. Had a great time. On my last trip home in the spring, I actually stopped off in Alabama, Demopolis, to see where we would be keeping the boat in our next stop as we put it in the yard, on the hard, and getting it ready for salt water. 
So another month or two at home, and then we finally made our way back to Columbus to say our goodbyes to Steve and his crew at Columbus Marina. And just like that, we were back on the river again, which was hard to believe because it seems like forever <laughs> when you are away from your boat. But we had a beautiful day, conditions were perfect. I got to be captain more times than normal. Uh, and we just, it was great. It was a great trip through a couple of locks down to Demopolis, Alabama. We had a day of waiting before we could actually haul out. So we did some cleanup around the boat and then it was time. It, it was time to haul her out. And it was a nerve wracking experience as anybody who is anybody who owns a boat would probably tell you. So we hauled out and now we're sitting on the hard in a small boat yard getting her ready for salt water. On the next episode of Salt and Siren, we have places to go and work to be done and things to explore and work to be done and new experiences to have and yes, more work to be done. Are you exhausted? So are we. We have so much to share with you from Demopolis, Alabama. Thanks so much for watching. We will see you next time.